Okay, so in this video, we're going to be making a 1968 Chevrolet Camaro in Blender. We're going to model it completely in Blender. So, I, this is a completely new scene in Blender 2.8. If you don't have that, get it from the Blender site. Uh, we're going to delete this camera and this positional light, because we're not going to need any of those for this one, for this video at least. And let's enter... Oh, wait just a sec. Let me turn on... Let's turn on my... I need to be able to show the keys. Alright, yeah. That's fine. Yeah, now you can see the keys. So let's enter orthographic mode. That's five on the notepad. And we want to go to the right view. <coughs> oh, sorry. And let's start. So we want to get our reference image in first. Let's move this cube up a bit. Yes, one meter. Yeah, that'll do. Let's get our reference image in. I'll put the link for this image down in the description if you need it. You're probably going to need it. So let's make this wireframe and G to move. And we're going to move it as close as we can. Okay, we're going to have to be. So let's, that line at the bottom, quite helpful. Just try aligning it. Yes, that's, that's probably as good as we can do it now. Now let's edit this. Let's keep it in wireframe. Oh my goodness. Keep it in wireframe. Tab to edit. And let's highlight that side and G and Y. And move it slightly this direction. We want it to be right right on that. What am I? Oh, whoops. I'm moving it on the X. I want, we want it to be right on that line right there. Right there. Perfect. Let's select this side. And right on this line. It's a very handy blueprint. Many blueprints are either very pixelated or they don't have very good uh, lines, but this is a really good one, so that's specifically why I chose it. Let's move this one, G on the Z axis, move it right onto the roof of that car. And we're not actually going to be using this box, this is just to help us position the reference images. So, oh my goodness, sorry for that. And let's move into the front orthographic view. Notice how there's no reference image. Let's add one. So let's go back to object view and let's get our reference image back up. Or our new reference image, I mean. And this time we want the front view, right? So let's G to move and let's try getting it as close to the middle as we can. So this is going to be pretty tricky. But this is especially where we want to get it as close to the middle as we can. I'd say I got it pretty good. So let's... Ooh, one thing, yeah. All right, so see this? We don't want to be able to... We don't want to have to keep moving both sides on this. So actually, you know, let me just get out of this position because it's going to be easier to see. So, control R, and we are going to create a loop cut right in the middle, right there. If you can see that, this orange line cutting across the prism, that is going to be our middle. So let's go back to front view, and we're going to, del we're going to just delete these vertices. We don't need them anymore. And so now we've got half of a rectangle. You may be thinking, well, what, about, what about the other side of the car? Well, Blender has a mirror modifier, so we go to we go to this panel, the one with the wrench. This is the modifier tab, and right, oh, where is it? Yeah, this mirror modifier right here, and we want to turn clipping on. That way, we won't have these vertices go across. As you can see, it stays it stays right connected in the middle. So check clipping, and we have it reflected across the X. So this is this is pretty good, and now beautiful thing about the mirror modifier moves both sides so let's try tucking this in right about here there's no good line for this but I think we can get it we can ignore that the tire right now we're modeling the frame we can we'll be moving onto the tires quite a bit later and it looks like yeah, it looks pretty good. Both both sides of the frame are touching, so yeah. It's drawn a bit awkward, but 
we can work with that. So now we got the front done. So we have the front and the side. Now let's get the back portion and the top portion done. So press 7 on your numpad to go into top orthographic mode and shift A. Oh, sorry, we gotta get out of edit mode. Shift A and image reference. Alright, now we're gonna have to rotate this one. So if you want to be pre precise about your rotation, press R and then type in the number of degrees you want to rotate by. So in this case it's 90. Oh, whoopsie daisies. Not 90. Um, 270. Yep, and now you can see that is, yeah, that is correct. So now we just gotta move this. G to move. I want to be as accurate. You can see it's a bit tilted, but we can work with that. Wait a minute. Well, actually, we probably should fix this now before it becomes a problem later. So, let's try getting it in the bounds first. This is a very good blueprint, but it does have some flaws. Okay, so notice this tilt. Here's where finer rotation comes in. So, R in this orthographic view and just try to get it on the line as as nice as possible yeah I think I think I've got it there this may hurt to look at for you people out there with OCD but this is as good as we can get it not not every blueprint is perfect and oh I might need to rotate that just a bit more yep I think that's good that looks that looks pretty darn good to me um, yeah alright so it's this middle line is fine and this top view we're only going to be using for the this this portion and the hood we're we don't need to worry too much about it and now we're just going to move on to the back view final part so the back view you just press control 3 or sorry that's left what am I doing control 1 and that gives you back orthographic so we need to add a reference image here Shift A for reference. And don't worry about the overlap, that can be easily fixed. See, it's already fixed. Alright, so G to move and Ooh, thank goodness this is not tilted. That would have been truly painful. Although it does look a bit off. No, I think that's just the that's just the way the car is done. Hmm. Definitely have to be a bit cautious on the way. Okay. G, Z. Ooh, wait, wrong one. Alright, this one. G, Z. Yeah, and I think that's, that's, that's good. Or should be Nope, that needs to be moved a little. What am I doing? So, this middle line, probably shouldn't pay attention to it too much because it's really these. It's got to be fitting in between these. And I think... I think that's good. Or no, maybe the middle line was right because... As I said, not every blueprint is perfect. So... Notice how, how this one is slightly smaller than this one. This was most likely hand-drawn, so... Alright, and that's our reference. Those are our reference images. <laughs> Looks like a bit of a mess, but this will get better as time progresses. Oh my. Okay, that that is a mistake. Wait, I gotta... This is our back orthographic. Let me move it a bit on the y-axis. Nope, that's our front orthographic. Let me move it the other way on the y-axis. Now, it's perfect for the... There's this little gap in here, but that's to make sure that this and this don't overlap. So, yep. And that'll be our reference images. And we're nearly done. Uh, just need to... We don't need this box anymore, so we can delete that. X to delete. And let's enter this right mode and... Shift A. And we're gonna add... Under mesh, we're gonna add a plane. So we can probably get out of white wireframe. Let's go back to solid. And let's move this up on the Z-axis up to the 
up to the yeah up to the top of the car and s to scale down right about there and let's move it back a little bit actually because yeah right there right on top and on this on this section up here let's tab for edit mode you don't need to be worried about you don't need to worry too much oh my wait let me get let me turn on the mirror modifier here ah oh, that's what i was missing okay so control r is this in edit mode oops yeah control r create a loop cut right there and b box highlight that'll get that side then X to delete those vertices and we'll apply the mirror modifier on this one too so let's add modifier and mirror there we go perfect so let's go back to top view here and let's move it a bit yeah alright huh it looks like looks like our reference image here is a bit off let me just quickly fix that Sorry for the silence, I'm trying to get that perfect. Alright, that's about as good as we can do it. And it doesn't have to be perfect there. It's this this will do perfectly. This will just do this will do just fine. And I think that's where we're gonna stop it today. Setting up our our scene and I will I will look in to see if I can make this a bit cleaner. I will tell you if I come up with anything by the next video and I'll walk you through it and we will start working on this top part of the car. And that will hopefully be tomorrow. So see you until then. Thank you for watching.